All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own soul samples without actually playing any real instruments. All right, so these are the main points that I always follow when I'm making vintage soul samples. And one of them is using the sevenths and the ninths in the chords and trying to mimic the melodies that were played in 90s or 70s. I don't actually listen to a lot of 70s and 90s music but yeah. If you'll listen to the old 70s or 90s records then you'll get a lot of information on how you can create your own at this point of time but I'm gonna go over this sample that sounds like this. Alright, so the first thing that I added was these were the chords that I added. Okay, as you can hear, I added some humanizations on the chord because if you just do this. It sounds very rob robotic, but uh, if you add some groove, I can show you a little trick that you can do in Ableton. You just need to add a groove and then just randomize the uh, percentage here on, on this random tab to anywhere according to your taste. But yeah, I always keep it from 19 to 30 uh, percent. And then I added some movements in the chords, for example, I moved the F note a little ahead and then I just click the randomize button here to just randomize the velocity of all the notes. All right, then I added the strings because uh, because these 70s and 90s samples have a lot of strings and whatnot. Okay, so yeah. This is from the string and symbol symphony series i don't know how to pronounce the name but yeah this one is from here and um this is the violin violin preset and then i added this guitar you actually cannot hear it in the mix i think but the whole loop will sound empty without this and this is from electric vintage uh, this is by session guitarist and I am using actually this uh, classic R&B articulation. So if you turn this off here, uh, then it will play exactly the notes that you are playing, but in that arpeggiated form. After this, I added soul vocals, uh, which is actually um, these are the choir from Voices of Soul. I actually took the sustain preset. These are actually the same chords that I'm playing here, but yeah, these are more uh, uh, on the grid because I actually wanted to create a harmony with the vocals. But I always add another top hook line on on, on top of the harmony vocals. So I, I, I got this um, vocal from Splice, I believe. <laughs> And then I added the bass line, which is actually from the chords itself. But yeah, I added some notes like this. And then some, uh, some passing notes. And yeah, this is how it sounds like. And then I added this uh, drum, drum break from, I think this is from Splice. And yeah, and after that, I added a chime, a classic chime, hip hop, or uh, whatever you want to call it. These were pretty famous back in the days. All together, uh, the whole sample sounds like this. <laughs> But then on the master chain, I added a pitch shifter, which is from Waves. So I increased the sample pitch by five semitones. So now this sounds like this.
And then I added virtual tape machines um, from Slate Digital. It's just um, add some, I don't know, I, I don't even know what it adds, but yeah, it makes it sounds more vintage, vintagey kind of thing. It gives that um, vintage effects on your loops. So yeah, this is very important. I can actually turn this into a beat and I'll show you how it sounds like with drums on it. So yeah, and yeah, thank you so much for watching.